All right, what's good, guys? Today, we're going to be talking about whose album was the best that just came out. I believe four albums came out, along with Rich the Kid and others. So we're going to be talking about which I think is the best. I'm going to be putting it in order from the best album, in my opinion, to the worst. The best album to start the list off was DJ Esco's. So DJ Esco is known as Futures Producer, and they do a lot of projects together. So this new album, I think, was really good. The songs Just With Future are probably the best songs on it. And then he has a bunch of features like Rich the Kid, Young Thug, A Boogie, and even Ty Dolla Sign. A bunch of songs on the album are really good. And I think DJ Esco's album as a whole was the best album that came out today. The next album I have up is The Weeknd's album. So The Weeknd's album actually had the first song on there to knock off Drake's God Plan off the on the top billboard charts besides that song i liked a couple others but the album overall as a whole i don't think it was better than dj asko's i think that I had a few good songs but i don't think that it was better than the one with future the next one up i have is actually lil dirk so lil dirk just released his album called just because y'all waited um, and that had a lot of actual singles on it and lil dirk's kind of known for singles he has a bunch of hit songs like superpowers or make it out and stuff like that that blew up and they were singles by himself and so this is another project that has a lot of singles although it has a couple songs with features on it which are also really good the one with Ty Dolla Sign Party Next Door called Breather is really good and Home Buddy with Gunna and TK Gravitz is good as well so I think Lil Durk's album was the third best and then obviously fourth I have Rich the Kid the reason I have Rich the Kid fourth is a culmination of things one, his album was probably the most hyped up. He had a bunch of people on it, and he had Amigos tweeting about it. He had everyone tweeting about it. I mean, Rich the Kid's album was the most hype of the year, and it came out, and I knew it was just going to be a flop. Like, I knew it in my head because, I don't know, just I don't think Rich the Kid's that good, but I don't think it was a flop. I, I think numbers-wise, it's probably doing fine. But I think if you're a true music fan that you know that this isn't that great of an album for what it was hyped up to be. He has maybe a couple good songs. I think that Lost It with Quavo and Offset is the best one with features on it. The other ones that are actually good on the album are the ones without features. I think The World Is Yours and Small Things are the second, third best songs on there. The one with Sway Lee and Offset I was really excited to hear, and I think that one wasn't even that good. The one with Lil Wayne was okay. The one with Chris Brown's probably the second best feature and then the one with Khalid is okay. So I think Rich the Kid's album kind of really just let people down because I thought it was going to be a lot better than what it was.